Hello everyone! Welcome to my series where I expand upon Griff Patch's tile scrolling platformer. Finding your levels are a bit dull and want to make them more, well, dynamic? Or simply have finished all the episodes and want more? Either way, you've come to the right place. My name is Finding Pepper. Let's get into it. First, you want to go into the tile sprint and get out of the costumes. We're going to add on-off blocks today, which are blocks where you hit them from the bottom and they turn other blocks to either solid or non-solid. So we'll, go, we'll scroll down and make a few more costumes on-off blocks. We'll want a red one, solid and not solid, two blue ones, not solid and solid, and then four on-off blocks, tiles, red ones, say on, and then four blue ones. These are going to be used for animations. So, let's go into the code and create a new blo a new variable for all sprites called on off. Okay. Now, first off, we'll set this on off to one at the starting shoot, the reset player. Next, we're going to go into the title sprite, and actually, we're going to go into the editor sprite. Alright, we're going to show the title key map list. Scroll down to the bottom and see which of these tiles we're going to add. So, we don't want to add all of them. We'll want to add the red solid one, so at place 70. We'll want to add a 6. Let's use 6 for the on off tiles. Then we're not going to get 71. That will only be accessible when you press the block. On 72, we'll add another 6. Leave blank 73. Then for 74, we'll add another 6 for the on off block. And the rest are animation tiles or when it's in a different state. So we won't put those in. Nice. Now, we can hide the title key map list. Don't forget to duplicate this and say when six key pressed, next brush six. Perfect. Now, let's play this and test it out. Can you go into my editor and then press the six key? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at all these beautiful tiles we're getting. Nice on off tiles. And we can place them all down like so. But. Aha! They're not solid. It's because we didn't define their shape. And also, we can't bump them. Many problems we'll have to fix. No problem. The solid is easy to fix. Just go down and enter the tiles. Just look at which costumes they are. Looks like between 70 and 81. However, we won't want to add 71 and 72. We we'll want to leave those blank because those are the non-solid on-off blocks. So, we'll just go through the list and enter a hash mark where there's a solid tile. Now we have all of our tiles shapes defined. Next, I'll go into the code for the tile sprint. Hide the tile shape list. And go down to where it says if tile equals 20 or tile equals 24. This is where it determines if a question mark is bumped. 
So, if it's 24. So, I'm going to make a new custom block for the bump tiles and say test bump and take run without screen refresh. Okay. And drag that into some free space. And I'm going to bring the, this whole strip into the test bump and replace it with the test bump block. Now, currently this just supports question blocks. Type is 24. So, let's make this work for some on off blocks. Okay. So, first, we'll duplicate this script and say if tile is equal to 74, the on button. So we'll get rid of the or. Just say if tile is 74. And this is an animating tile, so we will change the tile by this. Let's animate. We. We'll get rid of the the um, coin script, I believe. So, in this, we're going to get rid of this thing that changes the particle that generates the coin particles because we're not done with question mark books right now. Instead. We'll say um, if bump index equals tile index, set bump to 180. And instead of changing the tile, we'll set on off to zero. So it'd be one if this was red, the on tile, but in it'd be zero if it was the blue tile. So it's the red tile in this case, so it'll change it to be the blue tile by making it zero. Next, we'll say if the on-off is equal to zero, then We'll replace item tile index or tile grin with the blue tile, the off tile. Let's check what that cost room is. 78 right there. So we'll replace it with 78. Great. Now's a good time to say, let's replace this editor is less than one with um, a tile index that's greater than the empty value. The tile index being the empty value will mean that it's the editor title, which we don't want to be interacted with. Okay, and we'll do the same thing for the blue box. Duplicate this script, put it below, say if title is 78, the blue block. We'll replace this with the 74, and this with the 1. Perfect. Now, there's one more thing we have to do before we test it. I'm going to click into the Mario Sprint 
and find the bump head block. Okay, once you've located the block, we'll say if, right now it's just if the title is 20, mystery block. Well, we'll say if title equals 20, or, oops, not there. Mm -hmm. The tile is equal to 74 or the tile is 78. 74 and 78 are the on and off blocks. Now, there's one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to change the on off here from a zero to a one. Whoops, silly me. All right, let's chest this up. Perfect. It's changing from an on to an off, just like Google, just like we like, and bouncing up and down as well. But one thing I've noticed is that these blocks next to it are not changing when we change the block. They should be. So, let's make that happen. Okay, I'm gonna go to the position tiles for this one because we're not bumping them. So, we'll say if in the else condition for titles less than two. The tile is equal to We'll look for the talent, what the costume number is of um, the solid block, the solid red block, and the non-solid blue block. These occur when on-off is 1. So that's 70 and 72. And let's keep it, let's remember that the non-solid red block and the solid blue block are 71 and 73, just for future. So if tile equals 70, or tile is 72, then if editor is less than 1, and If on off equals zero. So these tiles occur when on off is one. So if on off is zero, we want to change them. So if on off is zero, we'll replace item tile index with tile grid with tile plus one. That's just basically changes it to the next one. So, see if it's the red solo block, it'll become the red non solo block. If it's the blue non solo block, it'll become the blue solo block. Now, let's do that in reverse. If tile 71. Or is 73. Editor is less than 1. And on off is 1. Then we'll replace item tile index of tile grid with tile minus 1. Let's test that. Perfect. The blocks are changing. And if we show the on-off variable, we can tell that the on-off is changing as well. That is just what we want to see. Now, 
Next. I want, when it's in the editor, to set it back to 1. So, and when it's not when it comes back to also set it to 1. So in the game loop, among the set coins to 0, I'm also going to set on off to 1. So let's play that. Turn it off. Go into the edit. Go into the editor. Yep, it's back on. And also, yep. And that is it. We've now added on-off blocks to our game. These can be really cool for puzzles as well as platforming challenges. I hope you have a great day. My name is Finding Pepper, and I'm out.